Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function list.select now let's jump to power bi and in power bi under the home tab under the transform data we will use transform data now here what we are going to do is we are going to create a list and then on that list we will try to use list.select now list.select help us to filter out the data from a list so for that we need a list and if you're watching our series you might be knowing you know how to create a list but let's begin that journey so go under the home tab in the new source create a blank query and inside that blank query you will get this like a like a blank query like this you can rename by double click or right click and rename option is there now either on the right click you can choose the advanced editor or you can directly click advanced editor here under the home tab almost in the middle it is there now to create the list inside the angular bracket you can give certain things like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 let's say i give minus 1 minus 5 let's say minus 7 9 10 okay like this so now this is a list so now we will do just okay and check it out how does it look like so it look it's a list see power bi is suggesting it as a list also so we got a list now what we need to do is next thing we wanted to do is we want to go back to advanced editor and want to do an operation now either i can do an operation on top of this one only or i can go, go to the next line comma enter i go to the next line and in the next line i can do let's say select operation so let me call it underscore select i can give any name and if i want to give a name with the space then i need to give it in double quotes hash and inside the double quote the name which i want so that's how you give it so now I want to do, so I want to do a list dot select operation. So I say list dot select and then I try. So the first argument is list and the second argument is selection function. So the first argument list is I'm going to give you the source. The second argument is selection function. So selection function is let's each underscore is let's say greater than three each underscore greater than three and let let's try this out and i'll after that i'll explain now because we uh, the second step is select and i want to return this select so i need to copy this name or i need to write this back name inside the in that is what i want here so so now you see that only elements which we are seeing now if you go like we can go back on the steps that's the beauty about the power query you see that i have a list which is having one two three four minus five minus seven nine and ten and only 4, 9 and 10 are greater than 3. So that is what is coming. So let's understand how does this function works. So, so basically if we want to run a loop on the list, we need this each keyword. Now how do I access each element? Now we have not declared any variable here or that kind of thing. If you are from a programming background, whenever we run a loop inside that one, we get a variable. In that variable, we keep on putting the values from the list and can, you know, loop around that. But here we don't have said that. So what we can do is we can use underscore. So underscore is the one which is containing the each element. So every time I reach to element that would be contained in the uh, underscore. So one, two, three. So each and every element of this list would be looped. And every time I'll get one element here automatically looped in and I can compare that. Now I can say let's say list greater than zero. So only positive should come, isn't it? And I can tell you, you can actually, if you are at the last step here, you can simply go and write down edit here also. Let's say I say greater than nine. So I'll get only one element. Now, we want to try this operation on, let's say, test. Okay. So let's create a test list. So I'm going to say here a new, under the home tab again, new blank query. And again, I get a, this new query and I double clicked on it. And in the angular bracket, now I'm going to give some text so i give a b c i give a a comma b b c c c a b c anything i can give now let's look at this list let me say done first of all so I got a list. This is how it looks like. See, this is a list icon. You can see here also the convert to table option is available. 
it's a list here so now i can go ahead and write down a function so i can write directly see here so instead of you know having the next line i can write down list dot select so l capital s capital that's what you have to ensure then each underscore the each is the looper underscore is the uh, you know and in which i'm going to get the value let's say equals to a fine so i got only one now what happens if i need something like let's say which contains a okay so so there are list functions to do that okay but let's say if i want in this list dot select so can we try text dot contains and in the text dot contains can we use this underscore comma let's say a small a okay and can we try this so now you see that instead of giving a um, equal to function i given text dot contains so anything which returns true and false now if it need to access a element then i use underscore for that so i can have greater than equal to i can have less than equal to or let's say we want to add one more function let's say it contains c also okay so each how do we do that each this or each contains c can we do it like this let's try out see we can do it so it contains a or it contains c c see look at the list a this doesn't contain a or c this contains c so we have it a a again we have a a because it contains a b b doesn't contain anything it contains c it contains both a and c so first as soon as the first one is true there is no need to check the second condition in case of our class now if i say and here let's say i want both a and c it should contain both a and c see there is only a b c which contain both a as well as c so and so the condition what you are giving should return true and false so you can create combination of conditions as long as you can take that one element and then can take some decision on that you can do that so now what what we can do using this let's say i want to go to a table let's say i have a table like this data one now i want to carve out one column and while carving out that column as a new table i want to filter on that so we have data one we have query one data one let's say do we have some complicated data here so like this this data is there okay d data is there let's say i want this d1 column one when i take out i don't want it equal to b and then i need it outside so what should i do new query blank query i want a newer one and then i can go here advanced editor and then the table was d1 column 1 so d1 column 1 okay let's see what does it give so it gives a list so that, that's that's what power bi is if you give table name and column name then it is a list now we can run a select on this so list dot select now what operation we want we don't want it to be so so each underscore not equals to double quotes b and assuming the b was in capital letters let's look just move it out yeah b is in a capital letter and say done so we got a list now i can use list dot distinct on top of it if there are duplicates so let me write it down even though there are not any here list dot distinct and i'll get a distinct list so i'm filtering out a column and then i'm making sure that it does not contain the duplicates list dot distinct and then finally i can convert it into a table i can use this code from power bi and it says tab table from list source source is the previous step See, this is the previous step the list name was source that's why it is source okay then splitter dot split by nothing null null extra values dot error so it get converted into a table now so in this manner you can do these list operation now but remember we are doing it on a single list okay so you have to remember that 
if you take list of list then you are doing operation on list of list so that also you have to take care okay so go ahead and try this out do let me know in the comments what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you